everyone, it's Leanne. Welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Today I have a super simple and sweet single layer card to share with you. I created this using the Lucky Dogs stamp set from the Greeting Farm. So to begin for this card, I have an A2 size folded card cut down to that size and a piece of pink linen paper cut to the same size for the background. And then I have a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock cut a half inch off each side. And this is the stamp set from the Greeting Farm Lucky Dogs. It's really, really cute. And so I'll be using this today. So I'll do my stamping first on the Nina Solar White cardstock. I'm going to use the little poodle dog and I will be using the sentiment, you're possum. You're so possum. And I like the little arrow too. I thought that that was a cute decorative piece to put in. I'm going to stamp this with Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I will be copy coloring it. I also really like this stamp pad because it cleans off easily from my stamps. It doesn't stain them, so it's nice, easy cleanup. I'm going to put the little dog at the bottom. And because that's the larger image, I'm going to stamp that first and then anchor everything out from that. So your possum is coming in next, and then the little arrow to finish it off. So I'm stamping this up super simple, and this will be the composition for my card. So now that I have this all stamped, I'm ready to color. I'm going to come in with some light pinks, and I'm using pink because um, first of all, it makes sense for here, but I wanted to bring in that background color of the linen paper from the back into the card, and then that helps balance the color overall in the composition. So I'm going to color the inside of the ears here with the pink. I'm doing a darker shadow at the top to create that concave look. And then I will use these colors um, again in the nose, and then a combination of these colors in the feet as well. And so the shadow comes underneath the nose to create the rounded look. And then on the feet, I've brought in R20. It's more of a warmer pink. And because the pink linen um, background is a warmer pink as well, I thought that this would help bring that warm color in. So for my little poodle, I'm going to do a wash of B60. This is a light purpley blue color. It's really, really pretty. Sometimes it's hard to see and until it dries a little bit, then it gets a little bit darker as it dries. But I'm using that as my base and then I'm coming in with V12 which is a violet color a little bit different tone but it creates a nice visual look because it plays in a different color group it's in the violets and our base is in the blues so I'm doing little C marks or little curl marks around the edge to create the shadow of the lumps in the poodle hair and just to build up those visual textures I'm not going to do it all over I'm only going to do it in the shadows and then I'm going to come in with the base color again, that B60, and just soften all of that um, V12 that I put down. So doing this style is just working in layers and building up uh, the, the visual texture. So overall, I think I did about three or four layers of the little curls, the little flicks of the brush to create the lumps and bumps. So I'm coming in with the BV01, which is a darker version of that B60. Even though they're not in the same color grouping on the Copic chart, they actually do pair really nicely together and fit the same color range. They both look like purpley blues. So this one just helps emphasize the shadows a little bit more. And I'm not putting the curls on top of each other. I'm trying to vary, vary them so that it creates more of, um, of that layered depth look. So you don't have to be perfect. It's super easy to do this technique. And the result turns out really great. I've also done this on the alpaca stamp um, from Lawn Fawn, and he has little curls and lumps and bumps in his fur, so this technique works well there too. So then I'm just coming in and, and doing layers. So with between those three colors, as I feel I need to balance them out and, and kind of soften them out, and just building out the shadows on the outside of the, of the poodle as well. And then just coming in at the end, I didn't do the curls on the ear, just nice, soft, gradiated blending. Because I imagine the hair on the ears would be a little bit shorter. It wouldn't be all curly as much, or at least in this drawing. Now I'm going to ground the element. I'm going to use a warm 
are a neutral gray, which is sort of warm, but I felt that the warm grays were a little too on the yellow side and I didn't want to distract from the cool colors in the picture, uh, especially those purples. So I felt that the neutral gray was a nice balance between the warm pinks and the cool grays and blues, I guess. So I'm coming in with neutral zero and just blocking out that shadow and I'm going to blend the edges with a colorless blender to help bleed that ink into the paper and just fade out those edges a little bit more. And then I'm coming back in with my N0 one more time just to beef up the center part of that shadow. And so with the shadow grounding the element, I'm also layering this as well. I'm taking my time and doing light washes and, and layering it. So not just doing it once, doing it a few times. I'm coming in with N2 as a final finish on that shadow. And whenever you see an object, the shadow closest to it or underneath it is always darker. There's always a darker frame there than outside of that. So I'm just coming in with that N2 to create a darker shadow just immediately underneath the object. And then that will blend into the background. So this is super simple and it was fun to color. I'm ready to put it together. I'm going to use my tape roller and attach the pink linen to the card base first. And as always, I run a strip around the perimeter, around each side, and then a big X in the middle. And that holds it really well. When I put this together, I make sure that the folded side of the card is touching the table, and that way I line it perfectly with that top edge. If it hangs over the bottom, if I've cut my background a little too long, I can always trim it up after. To put the poodle part on, I'm going to use foam tape, and this is just to give it a little dimension and interest. Even though this is a super simple card, it still looks really elegant and pretty, and it would be fun to give somebody, and it still shows that you put time into it. And Adding the foam tape and small embellishments help to dress it up a little bit. But if you are short on time and you wanted to have a card to give to someone, it is super easy to get this one out the door. So I'm just putting some foam tape around the edge. And then I'm going to put a couple strips in the middle just so it doesn't sag once it is put on the card. Or if someone presses on it, it still has some strength to hold it up at the back. So then I'll peel all these off and get ready to put them on my card. To position this on my card, you might have seen me do this lots of times before. I use my X-Acto knife to hold it so my hands aren't in the way and I can eyeball the center of the background and get it all in place where it looks good. Once I'm happy with that, I'll just push it down. And my card is just about ready. I'm going to add another embellishment. I have this Wink of Stella brush pen and clear glitter. This actually comes in other colors, but I've only ever bought the clear glitter, and I love it because it's subtle. You can put it anywhere, um, but it adds a nice little touch. So I'm going to put it on all the pink parts of my poodle, his little ears, his nose, and his little paws. And then my card is ready to share. So this was so fun to make. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you're notified the next time I post a video. Thank you so much for watching.